Hey, we finna fuck the city up with this one. Hey, let's go. Since I ain't got 20k, oh I ain't giving head. Can't seem to get no shine. I think these niggas scared. They claim to have these ops, but niggas really feds. A ham sandwich nigga ain't got no fucking bread. I put the D in diamond, the hottest thing popping. My city never win, cause all these niggas dick riding. They turn the trappers into rappers, but that shit sloppin'. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We gotta come with heat, dog. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is a motherfucking uh, special day and shit, man. You feel me? So uh, let me take this shit before we get flat. <laughs> so uh, yeah, man. You know, it's your boy Shy, man. Shy vs. A Bite Podcast, episode one, goddamn thirteen, man. We got motherfucking <laughs> actress, model, rapper. Uh, she, that entertainer. Was, yeah, entertainer. Just entertainer. Motherfucker. Uh, she was. I was her first uh podcast interview, her best podcast interview from the best podcast in the motherfucking city, man. Period. You know what I'm saying? We got Detroit Diamond in the building, man. What's good? What up, though? Shit, chilling, man. So, uh, <laughs> before we get to the bullshit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All shit. We always gotta start off with, you know what I'm saying, some positive shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because we always gotta throw some positivity out there in the world. For sure. So, uh, you know, you already know what it is. She like a motherfucking part of the family now and shit. She part of the podcast. And I think she tied for the most appearances on the show and shit, dog. With okay. three. I with, got three. Uh, shout out to Easy Fresh and Cheesy the Champ and Chase West. Y'all, y'all all at three. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, so who you want to shout out? You I'm going to get saying? five, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have two more for sure this year. For sure. So, yeah, t- t- tell people who you want to give a shout out to. You know, this episode, you can shout out anybody. I don't give a fuck. Um, <laughs> you know? All right, I'm going to just give a shout out to my little niece because uh, it's her birthday. So, okay. shout out to my niece, Raylan. Um, yeah. I love you, TT, but, and we're going to turn up for you tomorrow. So, shout out to her. Oh, shit. How, how old you about to be a big what? Four. Big four. Okay. Yep. Big four this motherfucker, man. Yep. Shit, uh, Oh man, I don't know, man. I'm gonna shout out. He's I'm, like, uh, where do we I'm ta- start? I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna shout out motherfuckers who uh, doing something with their life and shit, man. You feel me? So okay. yeah, that's what we gonna do. So yeah, this is different. Usually, when you know you have somebody on, they got you know, saying a little project, a little debut mu- movie and shit. So you know, saying we paint the picture real quick. I'm at work and shit. You know, saying doing my little ones, twos at work. I work midnights and shit. I get a DM. I'm like, I'm like, maybe she didn't mention me and shit on something or even put something on from an interview. Right. Sure, I need to come on this bitch. I'm like, damn, what the fuck happened with her and shit, dog? So, you know what I'm saying? This is Detroit Diamond I'm talking about next to me to my left. So, uh, that's when she like, she she had to get some of her chest and shit, dog. So, throughout the day, I was looking at her stories and shit. She was like, you know what I'm saying, teased and stuff as far as going to the studio and finding a a beat and all this good shit. So right, I know, was taking things on the journey with me throughout the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was following. I was trying to see what was going on. I called Q like, "Hey man, what you doing Friday, dog? Cause I got a show Sunday, but you know what I'm saying Detroit Diamond wanna come in this bitch and talk talk a little shit, whatever." And then he was like, "Yeah, I ain't doing shit till I come through." So, you know what I'm saying? Take me back a little bit before we get to the motherfucking exposed song. Uh-huh. Take me back to like where all the build up came in at. Okay, so um, honestly. It's been, like I said, over the past few years since, uh, like, okay, I came here in, what, 2018, I believe. Yeah, from Florida, right? Yeah. yeah. So, um, I would say that first year, like, I just, like, put in hella groundwork. Like, I for was sure. just getting my foot out there, you feel me? I was yeah. doing the ciphers. I was doing performances for free. I was just doing all type of uh, open mics, like, yeah. networking, just, you know, trying to get myself out there or whatever. Yeah. So, um, you know, once I started to get a little buzz or whatever, everything, uh, yeah. I mean, whatever, anything, yeah. whatever. Yeah. And, um... Certain people, you know, like started just reach out to me, like, okay, let's do songs now. Yeah, let's yeah, yeah. actually, I'm now I'm getting paid to do some shows or whatever sure. like that. So I had to stop doing some of the stuff that I was doing, yeah, you know, yeah. to begin with. Yeah. And then that was like rubbing people the wrong way, like, yeah. oh damn, like you ain't fucking with us no more or whatever yeah. like that. So once, because, once you mean like once you start getting known, like some people you fuck with in a way, like you kind of like eased up off of yeah something? I mean I had to because it was like me elevating as an artist or as a person in general yeah, yeah, yeah. and you know like people just started acting funny yeah. once I had to move on I'm like yeah. nigga like you want me to just stay in this one space like yeah, yeah, forever yeah. just because I'm you know stop you right there All right cause we you know say stop you right there real quick you know I gotta play devil's advocate on shit like okay so you say you don't want, say for instance like say on the flip side I say it was did you have like a close relationship? Because what if it was like me and this nigga uh-huh. and my shit blowing up 
and niggas want me to go here like man you in the you in the basement you doing this right. like you need to move on but I'm loyal to the soil with this it wasn't no okay. it wasn't okay. no close relationship like that okay, it bad, was bad. all sure. just business opportunities for sure. For like sure. I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and for time um, being. yeah and yeah. it was like what I was doing with them um it wasn't like it was it was benefiting me yeah, yeah, but yeah. it was also benefiting them, them as well yeah and I like I guess once I stopped attending, mm -hmm. stuff started going down a little bit because they was like, damn, where old girl at? Like, yeah, such and yeah, such, yeah. whatever, whoopty whoop. Ratings yeah. wasn't going, you feel me, as high yeah. as they was or whatever. And then niggas just start acting funny. I'm like, yeah. mm, okay. Who, who is this person? <laughs> They, they, they mentioned it in the song, so yeah, I, I, I uh, if you bit. try to figure out who it is, yeah. then go listen to Exposed. The audio, the official audio is on YouTube right now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we go shoot the video this weekend. We gonna play on. We gonna play on. The, on we gonna play a song too on the show and shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. All that. All yeah. that. So yeah, because so you say you know start from there and shit. And so as you getting a little buzz, you getting a little bit more. Right, and I was like, you know, I was just reaching out to certain people that I was, you know, trying to work with yeah. or, um, you know, felt like could help me, mm -hmm. you know, like, just blow up because they had that type of sauce. Like, yeah, for sure. So, in, in my mind, I just always be having, like, the vision of, like, um, Big Fendi and, like, Nicki Minaj. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like the back in the day where it'd be, like, a, a certain person who... You know they got connections yeah. in the industry and then they got a little paper to put behind you and For they sure, just yeah, like yeah. all right we about to take off together type shit like that mm -hmm. but people here they don't think like that it just be like strictly oh well you feel me if it ain't me or yeah. i don't want you to pass me up so no i ain't about to put it into you or because i'm a woman too yeah, for sure do you be thinking like maybe yo and like i said i i, I, I rock with you we rock with you. we were just talking about you and shit with what's name though you um i don't know if you know sean carlo for some reason we mentioned you or something. I don't know. If oh, was he was on the uh, Meet, Meet the Connect. Connect. Yeah. yeah, he was like, yeah, mm -hmm. she, she all over the place. Like she doing her thing and shit. So Shout I'm saying, out to him. we always champion you, but you know, of course, I gotta be on that other side. So you be you ever think like maybe your expectations and people is is like too high? Way it's way too high. Like yeah, because sometimes niggas don't really give a fuck about what you're doing or or how you doing it or if you you know what I'm saying doing your thing. At the end of the day, niggas gonna move how they want to move. Exactly. Yeah, and um, I think that's the the Taurus in me. Mm -hmm. Um, because like I'm emotional yeah. and then I'm loyal as hell. And I just, I do sometimes like expect stuff from people that sure. I know that it's probably just not going to happen or whatever. Yeah. And you know, like I be getting my feelings so deep into it and then I be getting disappointed. So for sure, for sure. It, it, a lot of times it be my fault. Cause yeah. I just be thinking like everybody would think like me, yeah, but they don't. Hell no. So, hell no. right. So it'd be like, it just be, yeah, That's you know. Relationships would be working out everything. Everything. Everything would <laughs> be perfect. Everything would be perfect. Yeah, for sure. Now, now, piggybacking on that, like, you, 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 you know what I'm saying, say what you just said. Do you feel like it's something, of course, you know what I'm saying, niggas do stuff, females do stuff, but in, in the day, you know what I'm saying, they go with myself, I'm quite sure him and stuff like that. Like, we never, you know, put some of the blame on us. Is, exactly. there, is there anything that you you can you can see within yourself like I need a change I need not to do this alright I'm holding myself back by doing this like you ever look at yourself in the mirror and be like you know what Diamond you fucking up you know what I'm saying you right. need to change this shit up like, yeah definitely um, you know like it's always room for growth in like yeah. in everything you do so as a I would say you know like as an artist it's a lot of stuff that I can grow and get better at Mm -hmm. Um and as a businesswoman as well mm -hmm. and just I guess the way that I move like on social media um mm -hmm. I've had a few people like express to me that um I shouldn't keep saying the same thing yeah. over about like not having the support from yeah. the city or sure. um you know people in general mm -hmm. they they like it more when I put it in the music opposed to me like just making a general post about sure. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like this last time though that I did make that post, mm. it grabbed so many people attention. Like mm. a lot of new followers that I have, or you know, a lot of people that might just yeah. got hit to me, and they like, damn, like yeah, so I feel the same way. You yeah. feel me? Like so, uh, so that, that post you talk about, you had said, and I quote, <laughs> 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 "You said Detroit is the most crab in the barrel, d sucked out, hating ass city in America. Damn, on all levels, they don't want to help." Or see you win. It's so many people that's in position to build a dynasty, but won't because they're scared you're going to pass them up. You can't, You said that. Yeah. Or they'd rather invest in the hoes, 
hoes turn rapper that can't rap For only sure. because they fake ass or they mouth gang. Damn. <laughs> Pretty much. Y'all, like, y'all that's, some that's of the facts. lamest, weirdest motherfuckers on earth, and I'm disgusted. <laughs> like, I, that's, damn, that's, I said that. I that, didn't even so, remember that part. Yeah, I screenshot it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, like, that's what you talking about. Like, that's when yeah. that's the post that kind of like right. sparked everything up. Right, and that's what actually just because of like the response that I was getting yeah. from it, um, like so many people was like DMing me mm. and. You know, like, kept resharing it and stuff like that. And just was like, damn, like, I really feel you. Like, not Mm. even just artists. It Mm. was people that do motherfucking culinary. People who do (laughs) hair. People who do whatever. Like, they was like, damn, like, I feel this way. Like, I gotta, I feel like we have to, we have to move from here to to thrive because nobody here really yeah. wants to just be a team, a solid yeah. team and like help the next person. You feel me? Yeah. Like you have to see who is the chosen one in your group for sure. and then see how you can help them. And, and then y'all that, yeah. all blow up together. I mean, like yeah, sure. no, that, right. I just don't understand that, how that I mean, don't make sense. That's how it should be. But like you said, a lot of niggas don't, don't want to see nobody win. Like that's say, like, like me and him, like say, if he take off, I take off, like we're going to be happy. Just like I was talking about basketball, you play basketball, right? Right. So I was like, I was getting pissed off because you know Brittany, my cousin, shit. Mm-hmm. We got, I help her coach her AAU team. And when you look at basketball, cause I always say basketball and life is the same shit. Yeah. So for you sure. look, just just pay attention. You go to the games. You your mom coaching shit. You you if you watch like when motherfuckers play basketball, if a nigga is scoring, you score. You score three, four buckets in a row. Me, I'm about to keep feeding you like exactly. shit. She hot. I'm getting hype for you. But nowadays, when you watch like niggas do that shit hooping. They get mad like shit. She didn't score a three in a row. Shit, I gotta go ahead and get it exactly. in. Exactly. Because you got parents in, this, in, this, in the crowd. Like, baby, you need, stop passing it. You know what I'm saying? Instead of cheering no that motherfucker because he or she got hot. That's so crazy. I'm I seen I seen Westbrook do that the other day when LeBron was like going off. No. He had scored like yeah. five times in a row and then now uh, you, they was on a fast break and somebody threw the through the oop yeah. to LeBron instead of Westbrook and he was right there and he yeah. was pissed. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, see, that's damn. What it, and that's what it is because like I say, basketball and life is the same. Instead of throwing that oop or instead of feeding that hot person, you like, fuck it, that's taking away from me. Right. It ain't no, it ain't no team sport in life. It ain't no team, it ain't no team in nothing because <sighs> you two worry about that motherfucker outshining you. Damn, so unless that's, y'all, that's weird behavior to me. Like, why do you gotta be weird like that? Like, I mean, y'all just don't see the vision and it can help everybody in the long run. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. If you, if you yeah, yeah your situation, that. you know what I'm saying? You say you, you know, you had came back, you know what I'm saying, 2018 or whatever, you came back and you was going hard to music. And like I say, what would you, what would you, what would your thinking back then compared to now? Like, you thought like shit about to pop off because you down here doing some shit. You put out the D Miss Volume 1. Right. And I mean, buzz, to, like, yeah, at the beginning, I wasn't like, I didn't have no expectations because it was like, I was just. You know, I was just starting. I was just getting my feet wet. It wasn't like I didn't feel like mm. I was about to have overnight success or, you know, like just because I was doing uh, the ciphers on the radio that I was about to get discovered or anything like that. I knew that it was like a bigger chance than what I was doing when I was just doing freestyles in the car. For sure. yeah, 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 yeah. But, um, you know, I knew that I still had to keep grinding and keep, you know, like doing like i said doing all the open mic nights and everything like i used to be going to open mic nights every single week like two or three times a week at like hole in the wall clubs (laughs) like nigga shit on joy road like everywhere like wherever they was having something i was there like oh shit i'm trying to get my name out here and then at the same time i'm trying to get a couple dollars they having contests you might win a hundred dollars you might win five hundred dollars i'm just like i gotta do whatever i gotta do you feel me to get my name out here So when like when like early on like you know what I'm saying you mentioned the little shit that you had to move away from like because you know what I'm saying it was just it was good for the time being you pass it up you on to something else like in the middle like you know what I'm saying 2020 2019 and shit like how was you feeling then like as far as like support you feel like you was getting it but you felt like you was getting the love that you deserved back you know what I'm saying within those years um or like that's when it the was, shit started boiling like yeah it was cool like yeah. because then um I feel like from cer- from certain people mm. I was getting like genuine love from mm. or support and um I could start to see who the ones that mm. wasn't like and I was like okay now I see how they moving now I got to move this way or whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. and then around that time too like what 2020 
um, 2021. Yeah. Then I was, you know, like I was getting radio play and stuff like that. Like I feel like Dr. Darius been yeah. like the solidest out of everybody. For and sure, I, for sure. first of all, I never even met this man in real life. Yeah. Like in person. Yeah. So it was just strictly off the music. Yeah, how you fuck, and, you fuck the music. Yeah. yeah, and he just been genuine, always showing love or whatever like that. Mm-hmm. And it was a couple of people who I done, you know, met, I done been around, That's I done yeah, did yeah, favors for them. We done, you, you feel me like that? And they just yeah. Shout out to Dr. Darius, man. You ain't, you, ain't, you ain't say nothing bad, but it's all good, man. All right. <laughs> One love and shit. <laughs> he got to come on the show, <laughs> no, bro. No, I'm good. I'm good, he be, I swear, I always be telling him, but. No, because you, know, you know how it is. He be like, busy, bro. Hey, it's good, he though. He be booked though, and busy. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to you, bro. You still a legend, man. I understand, <laughs> man. You seen it, though, nigga. <laughs> I'm about Joe Buss, I'll leave the eyes like, nigga, I see you see it, you know? All right. <laughs> now, before we can move on into the song, we got to play a song, because I don't want to talk about a song without playing a song. So, okay. You know what I'm saying? We go ahead, you know what I'm saying? Producer, get the plan and shit. You can put the headphones on, listen to your shit. I know you listen to it probably about 1,500 times. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is a uh, shy versus everybody world premiere. Exclusive, exclusive, yeah, exclusive. Exclusive, uh, exposed. The words, you know what I'm saying? From Detroit Diamond Edition, y'all motherfuckers. <laughs> no cap. You know what I'm saying? And I don't, I honestly don't even feel like it's much of a diss. It's just facts. Mm-hmm. Like, I ain't, I'm not really dissing nobody. Like, you well, know, like some diss songs yeah, where niggas well, be like. Yeah, like, funny shit. We talk about that afterwards. You <laughs> feel me? They be, they be getting crazy. The shit. But Aye. I just, you know, I was just speaking of my own experiences Aye. with these people. Yeah, and yeah, it was like a million CEO. more other people yeah. that I could have mentioned, but the, the song was only a yeah, minute and thirty yeah. seconds, so I was sure. just like, "Let me just." You want to be that much uh, like the game with three hundred bars and running and shit? And Swear, going ham, hey, dissing Olivia, young boy, <laughs> like, did you like a man? Like, man. <laughs> and I wrote that shit. Out. Hey, let's go. Since I ain't got twenty k, oh, I ain't giving head. Can't seem to get no shine. I think these niggas scared. They claim to have these ops, but niggas really fast. A ham sandwich, nigga, ain't got no fucking bread. I put the D in diamond, the hottest thing popping. My city never win, cause all these niggas dick riding. They turn the trappers into rappers, but that shit sloppy. The only bars these niggas got came from a bitch pocket. A few be legendary, some niggas jealous of. Since 2018, I've been trying to fuck with hella bruh. He said his manager, Big said was gonna hit me up. It's 22, I guess my ass wasn't big enough. Enough. Let's show them how we coming. A verse that's medical. <laughs> like summer 19 went fast. Pick that herbo flow. Oh, God, but when the 19 went the cypress was the biggest show. You 35, I'm 25, but I got bigger goals. Hit Dougie for a feature. He told me 60 bands. I'm independent, nigga. Lil' baby, get your mans. Or grab a pacifier. His little baby pants. His ass be sitting up. I see what Jazz was saying. Shout out to Dr. D. He really showed me love. Ain't have to fuck him just to get my song up in the clubs. Tapped in with T, uh, ain't fuck with me, uh, tapped in with real ones, don't snap, gon' kill some, niggas be watching, but they really wanna drill some, I got a lead to get a team since y'all won't build one, I heard some niggas feelings, damn, producer, damn, I heard some niggas damn, feelings, somebody. cause y'all be speaking <laughs> facts, <laughs> <laughs> these niggas y'all be signing, I swear they fucking whack, I'm Detroit Diamond, put the city on my fucking back, 10 bands for a show when y'all niggas hit his track. Hell Period. Yeah. Now, uh, you know, uh, that, it was almost the end of the song. Something happened, technical difficulties. Right, or so that, <laughs> that just mean y'all just need to go listen to yeah. it. Like, and, go on YouTube and go to listen shit. to that shit. Now, uh, you know, of course, you know, that me being a, a, the type of nigga, you know, talk about the bars. I pay attention to his little bars and shit. One of them took me a minute. I was like, oh, shit, I'm thinking, I'm thinking you was talking about uh, uh, Vezo Age and shit, 35. But then I'm like, oh, 35, 25, you know who it is. And uh-huh. then the whole, the funny shit though was the, <laughs> the motherfucking um duh shit dog the motherfucker be a little nigga shit though hey man I, hey y'all still come on show dog <laughs> right <laughs> hey me dog <laughs> but uh you got something set up with him no hell no oh. them, them niggas don't respond to me <laughs> but <laughs> they gonna try to charge you fucking a hundred k to gave, come and talk to if you I, if I man but all right, I was going sorry rant myself but let me go ahead and stop myself real quick <laughs> but no okay so we gonna start from the uh, hell of a shit dog. And I know who is yeah, his, I hear his manager about him coming on the show. Nobody, nobody opened my shit up, so at least they said something. But, Man. but you, so yeah, so talk about that. Like, you know what I'm saying? You 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 reached out trying to get trying yeah, to get, literally. So, like I still had a DM that was in 2018. Yeah. Like I was yeah. So of course you was gonna pay. Exactly. Yeah. I was um, 
it was my last year in college too when yeah. I had like just you feel me started for real. Yeah, so he just and, really out here for real, like blowing blowing up for real. Right, yeah. and um, you feel me? I hit him up, and then he was like, um, all right, yeah, bet my hat uh, said my manager yeah, hit you up or sure. whatever like that. Yeah. So I'm like, bet. Yeah. So then, boom, like a year go by. Yeah. Or whatever and like you know i was still doing stuff so whatever i do like i probably like send it to him or yeah, tag, tag him in yeah, and, yeah. or whatever and stuff sometimes he opened it sometimes yeah, he didn't for sure. um i had sent him rock my world video yeah. and he was like that's nice yeah and i'm like <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, like, that's, damn, that's like that rage came out like that's crazy. <laughs> and then it just like okay, obviously you see you, the bar that I said, and I'm like, you know, that yeah. was in 2018, and then you know it's it's 2022 still. Like we yeah. still ain't got shit together or whatever, or sure. tapped in. Yeah. And I'm I'm just like I guess my ass not big enough <laughs> because I feel like. The girls that he worked with, yeah. they, you know, they got that body. Yeah. So, hell of a watch the uh, self video when she jump up in his arms. Oh my god! <laughs> Shout out to but my it's still like shit. it's not big enough. It ain't fake. It ain't you yeah. feel me? It ain't it ain't the ones. Yeah. I ain't I ain't one of the ones. I yeah. see I see the type of people that they that they looking for, and I'm not <laughs> one of the ones. I'm I'm real. So I'm now let me ask you this: speaking of managers and shit, him, you say you know he said get with his manager and shit. Do you feel like maybe that's what you need to do is go ahead and get you a manager so you ain't got to worry about having these conversations with these niggas? Um, like, because, you know, a lot of times, you, you I mean, you could look up, you know, saying different niggas who doing the shit, like, you know what I'm saying, of course, and see if you get somebody that you can vibe with or somebody that you know or something like that, like, you talk right. about like that so you ain't even got to have the, the pressure even trying to, you know what I'm saying, make these connections or getting pissed off when niggas ain't, you know what I'm saying, Yeah, get back I, I definitely have thought about that and I tried, like, multiple times mm -hmm. to have uh, managers and, like, a few times that I have done it since I started, mm -hmm. like the niggas was like trying to fuck me over. Like two two guys that I was like dead ass serious about doing it, like mm -hmm. was either trying to like play me. Like this is when I first when I first started. It was this one guy. I can't even remember his name. Like yeah. it was like King something. I don't even know this nigga name or whatever. <laughs> but he um is like the dad of a kid rapper. Like okay. um. Yeah. Little super T or something like that, the kid rapper. She don't give me a line. <laughs> okay, <laughs> whatever. But um, yeah, he um, he was like one of the first people that was like, you know, like reaching out, like yeah, I'm gonna fuck with you, or whatever. I'm gonna help you get like your BMI account yeah, set yeah, up sure. and all this or whatever like that. Cause I didn't know nothing about none of that stuff yeah, or whatever. Yeah. So boom, like he put me hip to it, and then um, like come to find out, he was just. When he was like setting everything up, mm. he was putting everything in his name. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it ain't had like I Nothing I had no you. clue. Yeah. So if I was to be like blow up or start making some money off of anything, yeah, it was going straight to Hell him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I just I just happened to look into it like okay, let me look and see what all this stuff is. And I just start seeing his name or the publishing company or whatever like on yeah. everything, and I'm like, bro, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm broke. Like <laughs> yeah, you trying sure. to steal from a broke person? Like yeah, that's yeah. that's weird. But he banging so, on your ass to blow up. Like all right, bet she blew up. That's cool though, yeah. but like, tell me that no, what you doing or yeah. what's going on. Like, I feel like you doing some snake shit. That's and like, then it took like a whole year for them to get his name off of my stuff. Yeah. That's why I didn't put out like a real project or nothing for until sure. after that was like done. Yeah, goddamn. See, but you, that's why you got hey, you got to search and dig deep. Exactly, you like you I mean? really got to do your own yeah. research no, you got, and you do. pay attention to your shit. You never thought about like you know what I'm saying. Of course, you 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 bump shoulders with a lot of motherfuckers that's in the industry. Like if it's through movies, if it's through music, like you never talked to them about like who you got. You know what I'm saying? Fucking with you on your on your management tip or who you got. You know what I'm saying? Helping you out. You never reached it's out. It's a lot of it's a lot of people that I have reached out to and asked them about mm. managing me or. Um, being like investors or just like some part of some part of my team to yeah, like yeah, yeah. you know for us to work together and I'm and like it's been some people who will respond back and they be like all right bet like I will send yeah. them a whole business proposal like yeah, everything, everything going like on. and um they just be on bullshit like I had yeah. meetings set up with people they never showed up yeah. I had like. 
just it was it's just crazy yeah, we got, like we, and if i I'm, I'm telling you like if i'm not trying to fuck with them yeah. they is not responding to me we bro. got a campaign get her mad and shit dog <laughs> now it is one it um, needs to be a woman because say, it, at this it's, point it's like it came... I, do, I do peep out like me and me and, uh you know producer q both you know, know who she is like she be all over the goddamn place we both said you talking dog. about electra Elevation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, uh, she the bank boys manager. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah what happened to the dad? I think he was making funny videos and shit. Though. He, he, like, I think he <laughs> like the CEO of that yeah, company think, yeah, and everything. Uh, like, Dre- Dresdale, whatever. Dresdale. Yeah, yeah, shout yeah. out to them. Yeah, you know, I'll be, I'll be peeping everything and shit, though. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, but yeah, I see that she be all over the place. She was at South by Southwest and shit. So maybe you need to go ahead and shit. Reach out. I, I low key, I've been thinking about it. I ain't gonna and like lie. I said, and you ain't got to worry about nobody. You know, she got a little track record. You know what I'm saying? She got motherfuckers that you know that she, be, that she been fucking with. So she, I mean, you just see what she's talking about. Exactly. You know I mean? Yeah. I'm see if she can lead you in, in, you know, saying some directions or whatever. Like, and ain't got to be no long term shit. Could just be something like shit. Maybe y'all just talking, just you know, what I'm saying, have a meeting and see put what something together. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Because like Definitely. I said, a lot of times you might need to just tr- put your trust into a woman, and you know, what I'm saying, and if you getting done done dirty with these niggas and they shit trying to, you know, right. saying some some want to be in your ass and you think some don't like that. So. Man. <laughs> Like, I so, can't win for lose with this shit. It'd be crazy. Now, you know, say, of course, you know, a little bit later on down the line, you had said, we talked about the shit with the Vezo shit. He doing it again. Like, now he got some I, shit. Man, some, like, people already been tagging me and yeah. like, DJ Diamond to kill this. Yeah. But I'm like, bro, I am not about to Because for this one, I guess again. this one's a little different. He trying, he find three artists that he is going to jump on their song and then jump on their video. Which I think, the I think all this shit, when they niggas do that shit, it just... For a promotion and just to get they yeah, shit. Yeah, which like, is smart. It's smart yeah. marketing like the young guy for was, sure. Was the smartest one because he let you have this shit, so now you can make money off that shit, even though it's gonna be a million niggas with that. Verse. Right. But it was I a feel like different. he did that though only because of the backlash. Mm-hmm. I oh, ain't yeah. gonna lie because sure. everybody was on his ass after yeah. that. Like, but you got they already wasn't fucking with him after yeah. the whole Dolph situation and what oh, was yeah, going yeah. on. So when he did that, they was like, all right, yeah. this kind of this might be opportunity for, for us. Sure. And then they picked somebody that they already was signing. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. And that's what I hate about that yeah. shit. Like, whenever I see those challenges, though, I just made me cringe. Like, dog, this shit. Like, you just gonna hear a whole bunch of niggas on the on the on the shit, and they gonna pick somebody from around the corner and shit. Right? Like, you they know what camp, like, they homeboys. It don't be. Yeah. That's like this nigga Q. Like, yeah, I'm doing challenge, nigga. Best podcaster. Now I come in that bitch like Rashad, you won. Like, right? Like, like, why they gonna you be win? like, damn, like, bro, you bias as hell. You gonna pick your homeboy? This nigga, like, this nigga episode one fifteen and shit. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I want to thank you for the opportunity to kill. Right. <laughs> Love, nigga. Man, this nigga related to this nigga. <laughs> yeah, so like, yeah, with those things, I never, like back then when he did that shit, and then you, you looked on that motherfucker, it was G Herbo and that shit, like this nigga. Was it Dirk or Herbo? I'd, it was, her, was Herbo, for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, and you went If back, he would have picked Dirk, that w- I wouldn't even been disappointed because I mean, he can rap at least. Hold like, on, hold I on, mean. Hold on. I fuck with Herbo, though. I fuck with her, but dog. That's, that's, that's my, cool. That's Everybody, you feel me? Everybody got their people they I fuck, fuck with, her, but... Go ahead, you come to Detroit, man. Come on through, though. And even, I mean, even if he can rap, that verse was no, not it. No, it, just like my man with the guy and shit like that wasn't the... You know it what I'm saying? Like, it. Yeah, but with that shit, I never believe in that shit. I just think that's a little marketing scheme just to get that shit, you know what I'm saying, out there. And like I said, it's smart, for bugs. sure. For sure, it's smart as hell, so... I wouldn't even trip about that shit, but I wouldn't be... Crazy enough to do it again, like fuck exactly. It, like, you got ta- everybody tagging, like yeah, Detroit Diamond, check her out, nigga. And that bitch already got Roscoe over there about to, you know, what I'm saying? <laughs> that bitch. not Roscoe. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, I remember the little, ba- I mean, uh, the dirt and damn, what the- I'm tripping. I remember the 42 Doug shit. I remember you had, you know, what I'm saying posted a screenshot, whatever, right? And then, nigga, talking about 60k and shit, like. And then, like, Honestly, I wonder. I, I I can't find the post or whatever. I don't know if I had to delete it or whatever, but. Mm-hmm. It might have been more than that. It yeah. might have it might have been seventy or eighty. I don't mm-hmm. know, but I just said sixty because it just sounded good. But I just yeah. knew that that number was high as fuck. Yeah, now, and I shit, posted it like being funny because yeah. I'm like, now, if that's his asking bro. price, then cool. But I always feel like, especially niggas from the city, I do feel like they should show love to independent niggas and give them a discount, like. Like niggas, like you know, it's a, it's a struggle out here. Niggas ain't got sixty k just to give you for a motherfucking verse. I'm sure if it was if it was one of like the niggas, I'm yeah. sure he has done that. But on the flip side, because I always gotta be on the flip side, most of the time when you pay these niggas dog for uh for features, it don't be no good no good verse. They getting back, you getting back, or they don't promote it either. Oh, they definitely ain't doing that shit. They not posting your video or the yeah. song and saying like Check my out. new shit yeah. or you feel me a feature that I'm on. So it'd be like. 
nigga, like, am I, I'm, I'm just paying for your name to be on my song? Basically, like, that's it. That's it. It ain't gonna I'm do not, nothing. I don't want to do that. Yeah, that's like though when when COVID first hit. You know, what I'm saying it's two years to to you know around this time. That's when we had like all them niggas who was doing those, you know, JD Kids, Fed Joe, everybody was doing that shit, and they promoted to get you on. Right. But once it's out there, it's like that shit disappeared. Exactly. And that same thing, like, you know what I'm saying? I would have it a way that if I'm paying you, you gotta, you know what I'm saying? You gotta, shit, you gotta motherfucking at least put my shit in your story one time. One time? <laughs> shit, give me like 20 yeah. followers or something, yeah. 100 of them was like, yeah, yeah they. <sighs> so, yeah, so you went there, you had to so so talk about them having fat ass and little legs and all that shit, like. Bro, like. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it is Pause. what it is, because, I mean, it's already been out there. I yeah. just, I just felt like it was, you know, it was real catchy. For sure. And, um, you know, like, people that already made videos and shit yeah. about it, you feel me? I had shouted out Jazz, because uh, yeah. Jasmine Renee, you know, she yeah. she did her whole little diss or whatever like that. <laughs> yeah, I see. I and see. it just, it just went like... I had wrote this verse at like five o'clock in the morning the other day. Yeah. Like I was just that up was quick, 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 and quick I did it in like fifteen minutes, like fifteen yeah. twenty minutes. I just and I had that beat. Um, the beat is produced by my producer Swole, Swole yeah. on the beat or whatever. He was doing did your last project, right? Right. Yeah. And um, I had that beat for a while, and I just could never think of nothing to say. But that night, oh, everything yeah. just came yeah, out yeah, like, yeah. oh yeah, this, <laughs> you already know hey. this is the one. So like, yeah, yeah. go crazy. Now you know you mentioned T. I mean, I wouldn't expect him to get back with me. Because <laughs> that nigga gonna be, he gonna be, he out the way. He is. He I, out the way. I feel like he out the way, you know, like now for uh for a lot of different reasons. But I mean, I've been reaching out to him since forever. Mm -hmm. Me and him went to high school together. Like, mm -hmm. and I mean, he don't owe me nothing. Like, sure. don't, none of these people owe me anything. So I don't want nobody to like get it twisted about that. But yeah. it just be like, uh... I don't know it just be kind of weird because I, I i feel like they notice or they they know who is like actually doing some work mm -hmm. like it's no way you can't not see it oh, yeah. and they would just rather you know pick the homie just yeah. because he the homie yeah, or yeah. like i said pick the 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 girl with with that one thing yeah, because yeah, she doing that, that one that, thing that, so that. <laughs> yeah like now let me if you, you let me ask you this like, if you feel like you got any of these features you feel like your career be or anything be a little different yeah because um especially for like far as Detroit because mm -hmm. once <laughs> it's it's crazy once people in Detroit see mm -hmm. you with a specific person sure. or doing some music or like you could just be taking yeah. a picture with them yeah, yeah, yeah. they gonna going be on? like yeah. <laughs> oh you made it like it's up like Just i'm so. supporting i'm about to go listen to everything like that's just how they is they yeah. ain't they not trying to go listen to your shit or fuck with you because yeah. you know you just got yeah. some good music yeah, yeah, it's, nah. it's all about the clout whoever yeah. it is that's big in the industry or whatever and they showing you love that mm. cosign yeah. is gonna take you to another level for sure so hell yeah, hell yeah. no you already definitely. know definitely you already know but it's like, all right, it's like, it's like me with this, with this, with this, with this podcast shit. You know what I'm saying? This nigga been doing, like I said, podcast forever in a day and shit. Mm -hmm. Like it, sometimes it's just like the the right nigga to hear the right time. Or sometimes it may not ever be your time. You right. know what I'm saying? I'll be wanting to rant like a motherfucker because I'll be seeing other shows like, damn, how, oh, how the fuck they You get... be having your moments too. Yeah, I do. <laughs> but I feel like everybody deserves yeah. to have their no, moment it do, it and do. like express themselves. Like I said, because... that's why I can, I can understand where you're coming from because sometimes you look at another show like, how the fuck they get that person? I reached out. I, you know, like I said, I, I I show love, niggas. Of course, you always gonna believe in yourself. I believe exactly. that my podcast is better than everybody in this bitch. Period. Like even though I fuck with other niggas, but I just believe my shit is dope. But I be wondering, like, I go like niggas see my numbers or see my following, they be like, oh, I ain't gonna fuck with it. Exactly. And opposed to this person got a big following, but he might be a goofball. But I'm gonna go or don't know how to do no research and have no yeah. good questions sure. or no. I like, put you on game on that shit. Yeah, <laughs> and I swear after you said that, like every interview that I was going to afterwards, I was like, damn, like Hell yeah. he was not lying. No, because you gotta really do your shit. Like I mean, that's why it's a few I mess with. You know what I'm saying? Because I see what they do and what they where their angle is or whatever. But some that just they just do it because. Like rap, it's the popular thing to do. Exactly. Everybody yeah. doing it. Podcast is the the wave yeah. right so now. So they think I'll get on this bitch and talk some shit. But can you hold a conversation? Do you have different segments? Do you know about the motherfucker before they come on what they do? Exactly. Or are you just gonna have them on and then ask them what they do and then feed off of that? 
every time. Like niggas be like, yeah. So what's the name of the project? Yeah, but yeah, uh, like introduce, introduce yourself. Right. What's your name? What do you do? Who like, fuck huh? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, do you, do you do you know me? You just what happened? Like, man, you just, oh, okay. And that just come from just listening and watching other shit like for the longest like right like you gotta really deep dive in that shit make make that person feel comfortable enough to want to come back for a third time you know what i'm saying exactly <laughs> and, and, and fuck with you and shit right. now you do you feel like this shit can call like some backlash i like, say a hell of a dude here and absolutely he'd be, he'd be like, man don't fuck with her absolutely you, you ain't and worried about that i'm not like i'm i prepared myself for yeah. it before i even decided to put it out because yeah. I said either I could get this back and, yeah. and you know, and like, it, it's just, that's what it is. Yeah. Or it can open people's eyes like, damn, like, okay, she can not actually rap. Like, let me try to fuck with her or whatever, whatever like that. But mm. I'm like, either way, yeah. you know, like it's, it is what it is. And you know, so. some people going to be like, she doing for clout. You already know what that shit going to be. It'll Absolutely be in, not. And they're going to be in the shit like, oh, she's doing that shit to get her and shit like that, whatever. But which ain't bad way to get hurt. It, it, I mean, I'm rapping though. Yeah, That's yeah, the thing. Yeah. Like, I'm not, I ain't shaking my ass and wrote all them niggas names on my, <laughs> on my shit. Like, yeah. fuck these niggas. Whoop de whoop. Like, like, no, sure. bro. Like I'm, I'm actually rapping. So yeah. now, cause they, now you say you prepared. Well, if they be like, all right, I'm gonna say my, 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 my little, you know what I'm saying? One thing, you know what I'm saying? A little female get back at you and shit. Like, you prepared to go back and forth with a motherfucker? Bro, I mean, that's <laughs> that's how it is Detroit now. Diamond like, versus anybody? Like, if if that's what it got to be, then cool. Like, mm -hmm. I just, like I said, it's not it's not nothing, like, personal, like, street shit personal you for me. You had some shit on your mind it's you just, wanted to Yeah, get like, there. it's just music. It's just yeah. rap. Now, so. I, don't think, I don't think none of it was anything to be mad about, to be like, all right, well, we need to blackball her or not mess with her and shit like that. You just felt a certain way, like, you know what I'm saying? And I literally just talked about my experiences with certain people, like, mm -hmm. that's it. Yeah. The, everything that I said, and, um, like, it's even a line in there about, like, I, I just said, like, don't snap, go kill some. Yeah. That's, that's, Tore snap dog. Yeah, obviously. I, I, I got that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. but um, like you know, he done been in my DMs before, like yeah. trying to get on, and then oh, shit. I done. Exclusive. You feel me? <laughs> it done been like okay, you know, yeah. let's do some music type shit sure. or whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then you'll never respond back. Like yeah, 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 you yeah. responding back when you trying to get on, but you feel me? You don't yeah. respond back when it comes to the. Like that's a turn off to me. Now I'm sure. not. I don't want to talk to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, cause that, it, I mean, yeah, cause that's what was saying. We just talking about shout out to uh, Malala. She just dropped a little project. And exactly. Shit. She was saying the nigga didn't want to clear it because he didn't want. She didn't want to give her that pussy and shit. Like you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. I mean, it, 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 it's, it probably uh, was Kodak for sure. How he <laughs> responded that that seemed yeah, like it you know was it wasn't him, Wayne or Charles Gabino. Exactly. I, I know it, wasn't it ain't Twenty One Savage. It ain't, it ain't none of it them. Ain't dirt. So you know. What I'm saying? It ain't none of the real ones. <laughs> now you know what I'm saying. You say uh. Niggas want to want to fuck and shit like that. And I already I asked plenty of chicks that came up women. I ain't gonna say chicks. That's kind of disrespectful. Plenty of women that came on the show. I asked like, do you be faced with that shit? Because I had you. I had Ishi Cash. I had Big Wish. I had a lot of motherfuckers on here that you know what I'm saying attractive to to dudes. And I always ask them, do they have that problem like with working with dudes and big court? They always say yeah because like when niggas see it, that's just how niggas is. That's how we. That's how we. You know. I operate. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, if you attractive, I get it. Like, you yeah. know, like people are attracted to each other. I mean, yeah, it's going to happen. at some point, like you have to just like let certain stuff just be business. Yeah, for sure. And, and then if, see if it worked to it. Exactly. Yeah. If it works out like that, then that's cool. But yeah. allow the, I feel like you should allow the woman to be able to decide if she <laughs> want to fuck with you. Like, yeah, for sure. yeah, I yeah. always say this. If I like you, you will know that I like you. Mm-hmm. Like don't try to force yourself on me or don't try to do no no lame shit because yeah. I'm not texting you back or yeah, I'm not yeah. on this or whatever like that. Like we got a studio session booked and now you don't wanna yeah, for sure. yeah, yeah, You yeah. don't want the money for the studio session because mm -hmm. I didn't let you take me out last week. Yeah. <laughs> that's how niggas is though. Like that's, that's how niggas is. it's that's weak. Goofy. But and that's what I always say it's always hard for women, especially attractive women to work in in the male dominant industry as far as like music or as far as like entertainment period. Because you always gonna have a nigga trying to, you know what I'm saying? Trying to use his motherfucking muscle to see, like, all right, bet you wanna get a song. If I'm a, if I'm big enough, maybe if I, you know what I'm saying, send her a motherfucking good morning queen. Uh, right. <laughs> don't go to queen. Don't grand rise and queen. Me. Send that like, good peace pick, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Might be some other things popping, which is messed up. Like I said, it's messed up, but that's just how it is and shit. <laughs> 
And that's why I say peace, peace. Yeah, yeah, niggas like seeing the peace and shit. But <laughs> now nah, it's about this. Shit. But no, that's why I think maybe like man, maybe if you see it a lot, maybe you just need to start working with women. And just yeah. have a have a team and shit full of women and shit just to get it on. But make sure that woman know what she's doing and they just you right. know what I'm saying? That's why like I wish that I had like Miss Deb, like oh, Waka yeah, Flocka yeah. Mama type yeah, yeah, shit. For sure. yeah, she put like I feel like on. she But they did her dirty though. Yeah, like, and, you know, got like she on. she definitely, you know, got got did dirty a yeah. few times, but I feel like she always just been like a strong, stern woman that mm -hmm. knew what she knew what she was doing and she helped so many people like get to where they wanted to be, like Nikki, yeah. like Waka, like Gucci, like she helped them get sure, to that part yeah, of French. their life. Hell yeah. yeah, like well, and yeah, it ain't minute. nobody it ain't it ain't no people here for real that's yeah. like that. So shit, when you gonna make that when you gonna what's what's gonna be like the little the last trial for you be like, man, fuck it, I'm out. Like even though Detroit is getting way more love than what they used to back when like KDZ and and Big Hurt and all them was doing their music, you know what I'm saying? Street Lords and Cheddar Boys, like it's a lot more eyes on Detroit, you know what I'm saying? But what's gonna what's gonna what's gonna take for you to be like fuck it, I'm out to this move? Bitch. Yeah. Shit, I gotta get some money. Yeah, that's a fact. Hell yeah. No, like literally, no cap, like that's um. That's the, that's, that's, the, the, that's the only thing that's holding yeah. me back. Like I ain't, I ain't never just trying to portray like I'm just out here getting getting money like sure, millions sure. of thousands or whatever like that. Cause I'm not like yeah. sometimes I still be having to work a job no, or fact, you sure, feel yeah. me DoorDash some shit whatever Hell to yeah. do to get some money for the studio yeah. for myself to survive like. For sure. So shit, when I get some money enough to yeah. move and I feel comfortable right. like wherever I'm standing, yeah, hell do you, yeah. Do you uh do you what's name? Do you be like like you upset yourself for making that move from Florida up here? You think you or you you think you wouldn't that move from Florida period? You wouldn't even be in right. the music yeah. heavy at all. I wouldn't like um just because where I was at it wasn't it wasn't nothing going on there. So yeah. the move here was definitely like the best for my career at that time mm -hmm. because it help me build my name and build my career to where it is now. Yeah. Um, but shit, I would definitely go back to Florida. It just would have to be a different part. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Somewhere it's going to make sense. Yeah, yeah. And I got, um, you know, like my, my team that I actually have like Bravo and mm -hmm. Swo. They in Cali and they they tell me to move there all the time. Like yeah, yeah. just you feel me, just pack your shit and just move. Like sure, we gonna yeah, figure yeah. it out. Yeah. Whatever you come stay with us for. I mean, yeah, you, you, ain't got no, you ain't got no kids. Exactly. Like they shit. always say that, but how I am, like I'm so just independent that I yeah. be want my own shit. Like I don't want to just move see, but and I have to. Okay, I think that might be. I think that might be a problem. Think you're a it, bit is. Too it is. Yeah, like, that, 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 that it is. Like it is. That's the. That's, I'm telling you, it's the yeah. tours, bro. Like and I think if you had like a, a strong team, I think things would be a little easier. It might not be no overnight success or no, you know what I'm saying. But I think it'd be a little easier if you had like a team of motherfuckers that you trusted. Number one, right? So Which maybe, I do. It's them. And yeah. when I just like let my guard down one sure. day it's yeah, just yeah. it's just gotta go down Hell yeah. i'm just gonna pack up and move because i never had an issue with just moving like i've sure. always just got up yeah. and left and moved because like you said i don't got no kids i don't got you know nothing holding me back or whatever yeah, like yeah. that it's just i just be like Hell man yeah. i need to yeah, have like, shit together yeah. when i move but shit, sometimes like, like 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 with kids, sometimes it's never like the perfect the perfect timing with nothing. Sometimes you gotta jump and do that shit. Exactly. If you fuck up, you know you can always come back to the crib. Fuck it, I'm back I'm back at the crib and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's kind of cold in this bitch. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna turn the heat off. Cool. <laughs> but but yeah, sometimes it's never like the right time to do shit. Sometimes you gotta do it. And then shit it might pan out. You like damn. Like, exactly. I told so. Look, this this is what my plans is. So for the summer, I told him um, that I was gonna do like a trial. Yeah, for sure. So I was like, I'm gonna come to Cali and I'm gonna um like a month, stay out there for like a month, month yeah. or two or whatever and see if it works. You know, like you know how I feel about just living out there. Yeah. How what happens as far as you know, like my music and stuff mm -hmm. like that. I I obviously know that I can record as much as possible because yeah. we have a studio. Like Hell we yeah. have that, and, if it's and that's right. That's like the best thing to have or whatever. But um. You know, like yeah. I just, I just gotta get my feet wet, and see yeah. how it's gonna so be. Who, so I'm, a, I'm gonna try it who out. Who holding you back in this motherfucker? Who is they? It's not, <laughs> not nobody. <laughs> it's literally not nobody. Like oh, okay, I'm still single. Like yeah. it's, I'm not, 
I'm not tying in. And e- yeah. I feel like even if I was in a relationship, like nobody should be trying to hold me back from yeah. you feel me sure. growing because I wouldn't do that to nobody. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. if if you got a bigger opportunity in, in Cali or Atlanta, so or if you was wherever, in relationship, my you let them like go ahead. We still together, but go ahead and chase your dream. Yeah, Where or I would go with them. <laughs> okay. Like I'm gonna either leave and go with them or. Yeah. If I got something going on here and they got something going on there, yeah, then yeah, we yeah. just gotta make it work like, yeah, yeah. No, for sure. like that. Now you you say like you know what I'm saying with these relationships and stuff. Have you ever had like a close relationship with somebody that was like seemed strong as hell at first as far as like this music shit, but then at the wild niggas just start acting like some motherfucking weirdos? Um, yeah. <laughs> was that the whole thirty five twenty five shit? Uh, absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> like no, what's that? Cause I know you know what I'm saying you mentioned Cipher. You know y'all go back and listen. So ain't nothing now. I'm sitting here. You know, so I ain't being no snitching. Man. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> I mean, I I definitely like touch on it because yeah. he probably come on the show too and shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Left me on scene like a motherfucker. Right. I'm like, are right, are you are you popular it's enough for him? Hey, or, you know, it's it's all good. Hey man, shout out to you, man. You a legend, this bitch. But man. like, and and I'm not even gonna like try to like down him or anything like that because he helped me like you feel me like get my start just from me being on the show and doing the cyphers and stuff like that like Mm -hmm. what he was doing he didn't have to do that for nobody um the whole imported from the d concerts and stuff that they was doing like it was great for the city for the culture and you know music in general but um like i said once i had stopped going to the cyphers like Mm -hmm every single week because I was having other stuff going on. Yeah. Like I was having real life stuff going on on top of other music opportunities going mm-hmm. on. It was like, it would go from like, I could send him a song or send him something yeah. and get a response. Like, okay, yeah, I think yeah. this is good. Like you should do this. You For should sure. do that. So now when I'm sending it, like, yeah. okay, my shit just on red now. Yeah. Like yeah. you ain't responding back yeah. or damn, I see you out. And then it'd be like, Oh hey, what's yeah. up? Like, yeah. like just weird. And I'm like, damn, like what did I do? Yeah. And he'd be like, oh well, when you coming back? Like, blah blah this. Yeah. And I'm like, bro, like I just, you feel me? I'll come back, but I yeah. just, I got some other stuff going sure. on right now. Sure. And I ain't gonna lie, like a lot of people done told me that that's just how he is. Yeah. Like people that went to school with him yeah. or whatever. And they was just like, once you not beneficial to him and what yeah. he got going on, he just start acting weird and he not fucking with you for real. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I'm like, oh, okay, well, you know, like I'm not going to be kissing his ass. Yeah, for sure. I appreciate what he yeah. did, but at the same time, like, yeah. you know, do your thing. See, that's so, like I said, man, like that's why I say you, we got to lower our expectations. That's why I always just joke. Like, yeah, you both came on show. Cause you, I, I, it's just a joke with me. Like, I'd be like, of course right. I would like certain people to come on show. I'd be lying if I, if exactly. I say I didn't, but I'd be, I also be understand. Like it, it is what it is. Y'all, you know, y'all understand one day or y'all re- realize or recognize one day. Like, you know what I'm saying? Be motherfucker like a motherfucker who just be leaving me on red. Like I'll be, I call this nigga sometimes a little motherfucker hurt shit like damn cuz what the fuck bro I just feel like if you gonna open it like if you gonna open it like you can at least say yes or no yeah 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 yeah. cause if not then what what was your point that's why I say like sometimes you sometimes you might need somebody like this nigga call me a a punk ass nigga and shit you need some you need people like that exactly but I mean it's different I'm gonna do it shit like that so no but I like I got people like that like I said um you know like I just had somebody just tell me the other day like bro like when you make those posts like it it seemed like you know like you being like you care so much like you keep saying the same thing but you do care right and you know like (laughs) they but they're People people call me out on my bullshit. Yeah, for you, sure. you need people like that, like, and then you can't get mad at them because they just looking out for your best interest. Exactly. Like yeah. in, in the moment when you hearing it, you be yeah, like, "Fuck you." Uh, <laughs> but like, and then you try to explain yourself, but like, yeah, I'm doing this because yeah. this and this, and then you ain't hurt like me. Like you yeah. won't feel this. Like yeah. yeah sure. So, no. but at the end of like, you you would grasp everything. You be like, "All right, yeah, like yeah. that yeah. makes sense." Yeah, cause I be going back like, hmm, I was looking at shows like. Okay, all right, bet. I just write my little list. Like, all right, bet. I'm gonna fucking yeah. check, check off that motherfucker. But no, when I say that shit, like, it should be funny. Like, yeah, a lot of niggas, you know what I'm saying, leave a one liner or don't say nothing back. But I don't really, I try not to, you know, get too too upset about it. I just, whatever it is, what it is. Like, they come back around, they come back and spin a block again. And shit. I, I feel like it hurt more, though, like, when. When they do respond yeah. and like agree to doing something For and sure. then they don't show up. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. that's that's what being like, happening to me a lot like, lately <laughs> like just these last few months like where it's been like people like 
hell yeah, like I'm about to fuck with you. I'm about to do this. I'm, yeah. you feel me? I'm willing to, you know, put For this sure. behind you or whatever, whatever. Like, let's meet up. Let's do this, yeah. whatever. And then just not show up. Yeah. Or don't respond or text or say nothing. And then it's like, now, like, nigga, now I don't like you. Like, yeah. I don't like you at all because you just did some bullshit yeah. and you wasted my time because I already set this up and planned this and to be a woman yeah. period in the industry like you gotta look a certain way you gotta it costs so much for me to come outside bro yeah, 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 yeah. like and they don't niggas don't think about that they just be like oh like it's whatever yeah but like, shit that no and fuck, just fucked up but that shit come that, it come with it though like you know what I'm saying I had a lot of motherfuckers like we, we and this nigga we here got spent the block like you if you like if niggas who like, oh, I'm I'm a little behind. Such shit's going on. Motherfucker, some people don't give a fuck. Like niggas just don't say nothing, don't pop up. I yep, I guess I wasted my time coming. <laughs> you know that's crazy, it is though. It, like that's that unprofessional, bro. But I ain't gonna, my run been way better than what it used to be. But those first couple months, it was weeks without having shows just because like shit, niggas will spin you. And I, and I learned that shit come with the territory. It's just it come with How it. Do like, you just not show up to an <laughs> interview though, hey, like, it is. and it's for you. Like it's for sure. it's literally for your career. Some people think thinking like nigga, I'm bigger than this. Like if I come, I come. If I don't, why I don't. agree though? Like if you hey, felt like that, I'd be wondering too. <laughs> why agree to that? But that's like I said, I just I just that's something that you know what I'm saying. I, I know I'll be having to work on like that. Well, I'm I'm over that shit. Like I don't be tripping too much. Like. I be appreciating niggas who come on shit, exactly. just trying to get their name out there. Because one day when you blew up or somebody else blew up, you'll be like, hey, I had them on the podcast first and shit. Right. Dude. Everybody was For trying sure. to yell at me and shit and trying to, you know, grab, yeah. grab rub after me and shit. Right. <laughs> it's all good and shit. So, okay. uh, you dropped the song. You gonna drop part two? You got some more people to talk about? <laughs> I definitely do. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I've been thinking no, about that. There was no females out there, you know what I'm saying, about you You cool with the with the, with the women's? No, nah, it's <laughs> it's it's cool, but yeah. it, it's a few that I, I would definitely, you know, yeah. expose. Just because, like... I got I got idea. I think this is a pop off and shit. Why don't y'all, like I always say... If we do a collab with all of us on not there? Not all, not all. Just cause, like, like three, three straight, three sweet chicks and shit. I mean, women. Yeah. Maybe, you know what I'm saying? It's a couple dope moments. I know me and me and each supposed to be putting something together real soon. So yeah. me and her gonna definitely yeah. tap in. Who else you got so. mine? Like, we can go ahead and make this happen and shit. How about that? <laughs> like cause that, that way y'all can you know what I'm saying, y'all work with each other, bam, put it out there. You know what I'm saying? Drop a video. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I tell like I say this every time, like I'm willing to work with any and everybody. Like I've mm. reached out to many female artists rappers and singers yeah. um as well as males and yeah because i always i ain't gonna lie you can ask it, you can ask it, him it, anytime it, a, 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 a a woman a female come on here on show i always be like y'all you should work with my homie Donnie. yeah i hear you like, like i always be watching like homie, i see uh, that like i said that with wish i said that with um um bria bria bands even though i think she right now she's been trying to you know leah bands. i said bria bands <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. leah bands but she, i don't know she really she, she ain't been doing music as a as a way it seemed like she been okay. on her uh, she been she like she been traveling a little bit or whatever whatever. But yeah, I just hey, I think that shit. I think that'd be dope. That's just another way to get yourself heard and y'all right. should be rocking out together and shit. You know what I'm saying maybe hell right. coming in, <laughs> drop a beat. It's audience. so crazy though. I mean now <laughs> I, court, I don't cold? know I don't know who um you know had relationships with these people that I done talked about. So now <laughs> they might be mad. I like, not bad. really want to. Want to ever work with me, but that's fine. Yeah. So, so what makes you drop the part two? <laughs> like if something, um, if you get mad again, or you be nah, you, you got two ready. Just, you feel me? Just some some momentum. Yeah. Like it it ain't gonna take much. I might just do it just just off the strength. At first, I wasn't even so. I just dropped the audio of it last night or whatever or at midnight. Um, you know, just just to have out. I wasn't even planning on putting Double. it on platforms at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I was just gone just do a video yeah. and just you feel me and have it out like that but um you yeah. know i done got some feedback from a lot of people and they like no bro like you gotta put it out like it yeah. gotta be out out yeah. you gotta do a video like you gotta do this because yeah. when, like when you dropping you, the video um we shooting a video sunday so hopefully It'd be out in the next couple of days. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yo, yo, yo. I woke up at 12 o'clock to listen to this disc. Like, oh, shit, she going ham. Now, yeah. uh, you know what I'm saying? With, with, with that and stuff like that, it's, you still got the, you know what I'm saying? You still coming off the uh, D-Miss volume two and shit. Right. Uh, what's going on with that? Like, you, do you feel like that's got some love? You about to shoot some visuals for that? Right, yep. Um, Pretty much the whole rest of the year, that's what I'm uh doing. Mm -hmm. Working on getting 
the budget for everything mm -hmm. um because you know like with my videos like i don't I, it they never simple no it's just um, well thought and all that junk right yeah. and it's it take a lot um we man like we trying to just get like certain locations mm -hmm. and dancers and you know like choreographers and stuff like that yeah. so um yeah, this year I'm going to have some visuals for... Yeah, I know you dropped a lot for um, a Year of Diamonds and stuff like that. You dropped right. a couple of videos yeah, for that. Yeah, I'm going to do a visual for Reasons, mm -hmm. um, Hip Row, mm -hmm. and probably Ballin'. Oh, yeah, yeah. you got to drop yeah. with Ballin'. Yeah, yeah. you got to do one for that one. So, Hell, yeah, that's my favorite one yeah. on, 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 on the bitch and shit. It's Not so crazy. I tried to um, submit Ballin' to be on NBA 2K22. Uh, oh, for real? And like, yeah, they was like having like a contest for people to, you know, like submit their songs and stuff to be on there. Yeah. They said that they was like picking winners on a certain day yeah, and yeah, they yeah. still haven't not posted anything yeah. about it. So I, I don't know. I'm just thinking, I know who, I know who you should, who you work with on the, on the production side, who made some straight beats. This dude named Amazing. Amazing. I don't know if you, if you, he be, he be mad too. So <laughs> he be mad as fuck sometimes. Shit, we can be mad together. <laughs> but the amazing, he a rapper and he made beats. And I, the nigga, shit, I, I, I fuck with him. Like, I fuck with his production side. I fuck with him. He, you know what I'm saying? Quiet dude, he ain't gonna be trying to, you know what I'm saying? Fuck, you know, like that. Like, right. he gonna try to hit up on, I mean, he might, but he ain't gonna hit that oh type of Oh my God. <laughs> he may, later on, but no, nah, no, he a cool dude. And I, I think that's somebody that you should uh okay. might want to tap in Amazing. with. Amazing. Like, let me let me yeah, look he, him uh, up on Instagram. He, be, he got some he got some good music and he, shoot, he made some good beats. I think he ain't worked with uh he ain't worked with like he I worked with a couple people that I know. He ain't did some shit with Doughboy uh Dre and shit like that. Like he got some uh some straight little shit out. So I think that'd be something. Like maybe like you gonna have to send me his Instagram. Yeah, we always aim high. Sometimes you might I mean of course you aim high, but sometimes you might have to you know what I'm saying link up with somebody who on that same ground with you. Oh yeah, for that's, sure. That's from the city and shit like that, and maybe or not from the city, like how I am with my producer <laughs> right no, no. now. Like, and that's cool. You got that's in Cali, right? Yeah. But then if you get the, shit, it'd be it's always good to have that. You know, what I'm saying it, it two way is, street for sure. And like um, I say, he, he a I good feel nigga. like lately I've been, I just I just been uh doing like you know my little freestyles or whatever off of Primo beats. I feel mm -hmm. like I mean he is mm -hmm. up there. You know, like far far as like for sure. yeah, popularity yeah, yeah. No, yeah. and People, stuff yeah, like that, yeah, but. Yeah. Um, you know, he ain't about to like charge you like a million dollars to like yeah, rap on his beat. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. But on him and oh shit, yeah, Cash made it. That nigga cold. That's my he on his bitch quiet dude, humble dude, cool dude, ready to work. He uh he did some shit for um um uh, what's my man name? Damn, I'm, I'm having a brain for a dog. My man who was with Team Eastside, uh Damn, fuck, mm. I'll get back to it. But yeah, he did some shit for him. Mm -hmm. He did some uh some product some beats for a lot of people, dog. Like he be out here, he be in Atlanta all the time, like this nigga right. be working, like he fuck with me. And yeah, like it's some motherfuckers out here that ain't got like the, the top, top name, but they up there on their way. Right. So yeah. And I like them. that's that's the people that I really be trying to mess with for real, cause Damn, like I said, it, it Baby be... Face Ray. Oh, he did. Baby. He did. Uh, 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 he did uh, some work with, um, with Babyface Ray. Like mm -hmm. nigga, nigga, dope for real. Like I told a nigga, like when I make my uh, my do my project, you know what I'm saying? Podcast trying to rap. Right. I'm gonna have that shit all about him. Said it's on. Okay. Yeah. Like I said, he dope as hell. So that's somebody else that's that's that, that, that's on the rise, that's doing some big shit that you, I sure. think you should fuck with too and shit. Yeah. So we, we made this shit happen. I so like, you, I like vibing with the you know the people that's coming up that's genuine. Mm -hmm. I ain't gotta, you know, I don't, I don't never be on the popular wave though. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. sometimes, you know, like you just be having to like reach out to certain people cause you like, okay, I know like if I have this yeah. or, you know, this song or this beat or whatever from such and such that it could take me to another level. Yeah, for sure. But at the same time, it, it feels a lot better when you, um, do it with some people that you like getting it out the mud with. Yeah, for sure. That's like like two people you dissed on your song. Like, like talking about that you dissed on your song. Like, like T Grizzly and Hell of a, you gotta think about it. Like they before that first day out came out, I mean people knew who Hell of a was, but he he wasn't like that. Like his name wasn't out there. And nobody really knew who T was and that one song just blew both of them up. Exactly. So if you give somebody like that, like you know what I'm saying, both of y'all just take off together. Even with what he did with Doug too, because yeah. like he the one that put him God, God, yeah, yeah, for sure, yeah. for sure. And like I said, it's just man, you, all this shit is all about politics, like for real. Like, there's so many dope people that came on this show that I felt like should be known or be heard, like you, nigga Sean Carlo from last week. Like, I think mm -hmm. it's a lot of motherfuckers that's dope. They just ain't, like I said, in the in crowd right now. Yeah, because you it's, got you know it's a popularity contest, Hell and yeah. it's just 
like it's so easy for all of the you feel me like the the D boys to get into it because they got money. Like yeah, yeah, they yeah. can pay for everything. Pay like for love. niggas cannot <laughs> right. Niggas can't rap. Yeah. But they can pay for this beat and pay for this feature for yeah. whoever to get on for it. Sure. And it's gonna just do what it do because yeah. they got money. Like, trust me, if I had the money, like I'm damn near about to be a scammer <laughs> nigga. Like, do it all, bro. Like right. because if I had that money, yeah. I could easily just Sure. You feel me? But I, yeah. like I said, I do be wanting it to be genuine. Like, they just see, like, oh, bro, like, she hard. Like, I, you feel me? I believe in her. Like, I want to yeah. just genuinely fuck with her. And then yeah. we, you feel me, blow up together yeah. type shit. Like. Hell yeah. Like I said, I've been, like I said, I've been co-signing you. Like I said, when I came, you ain't come to me. I came to you. Like Right. I appreciate it. I was surprised. It. Like, you know, yo, you had a couple thousand. I'm like, oh, shit, she found back. Oh, shit, she about to come on show. Like, you know what I'm saying? That was a big. He said me. off the chair fall though, like <laughs> yeah. see yeah, me like, straight yeah. off and the then, chair I'm fall. I'm like, damn, oh she can rap for real. She didn't. Not only did she fall, <laughs> but she made some dope music and exactly. shit. Exactly. But no, it just, I, it just all about time and shit like that. Like you know what I'm saying? Niggas gonna pick and choose where they want to go. You know what I'm saying? Like exactly. Like I said, all like, podcast rapping is all the same now. Like niggas gonna. If niggas want to go on motherfucking what's that digging the hip hop lab Lando or my shit, they gonna pick his shit because he got a big following. Even though all you right. gonna get a better interview from me. You know what I'm saying? For you know, sure. Yeah. Talk but, your shit. Yeah. Talk but, your but shit. But they gonna do that shit like, <laughs> like, you know, Kid L, popular dude. You know what I'm saying? They gonna go on his show. It's it just what it is. It's just how it is. And yeah, but it, it, cool. it just be weird. Like, where do where do these people just be, like, coming from? Like, shit. I don't know. Like, people just be, like, popping out. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you what, be like, damn. Well, shit, with Lando, I know he... I mean, I know him, yeah, like, from... from he was, he was yeah. doing it. And I, and I can, like, honestly say that, like... I, like I seen his growth from him yeah. starting and just like not being nobody to just yeah. you but feel I, me doing I always wonder that too like still. I always wonder that too like how the fuck do that like, where where do that blow up come from or how or when like I, you, it's it's just all about I feel like it's just all about who you know like yeah. it's, it's or it's fuck shit I'm I'm never gonna do no fuck shit to blow right. up right I ain't saying them niggas on some fuck shit but a lot of times niggas just do some weirdo old you know some bullshit I had niggas come on the show I ain't gonna name names but he ain't told me like nigga this this nigga won't let me on his shit because. I was too cautious. I was too, you know what I'm saying, had too much positive shit going on, so he didn't want me to be a part of it. Right. They want you to do some messy yeah, shit. Some, some ratchet shit or some Or some niggas shit. might pay some, <laughs> some of them niggas to come on their show, too. too. Like, just, like, bro, this how we gonna just, you know, blow it up. I'm gonna just pay this nigga this 5K yeah. to come on the show. Yeah, and then sure. once everybody see him on there, yeah. then they gonna wanna come be exactly. on the show. Like, and but that's, that's what, weird. Yeah. And bro, I ain't paying like, nobody to come on this bitch and talk to you, nigga. Like, fuck that. I'm weird. mad the whole time. I ain't paid this nigga 500. And this bitch doing Somebody research. tried to. Tried to charge me to, to come on their show once before. I was like, damn, like that's, <laughs> that's what's happening. No, that's what's now? no, that's for show sure what's going on. Like these niggas be charging to come on. Like I mean, I, of course that's your way of making money. I, I mean, like the big production, like like a uh, uh, off the porch type yeah. shit like that. Like I understand, you know, them type of people or whatever. Yeah. But it. And see, it was I like still, somebody that like I, I got more that. I got more buzz and followers and everything <laughs> than this yeah, no. person and they was like yeah this this and I'm like oh, Nick, I'll be, yeah, I'll be now that's one thing I, I get upset about too like when motherfuckers like hey, if you're follow, if you coming up you shouldn't be charging motherfuckers like a hundred dollars coming on show like nigga why like I you ain't gotta about to, you gotta do the groundwork yeah work, I ain't about to gain nothing but I don't want to ever charge I just want to make money off of sponsorship. Like, exactly. Yeah, make that makes sense. That way or get picked up on a on a deal with a podcast or some shit like you know what I'm saying but. That I can never, sense. I can never, I wouldn't feel right just charging a nigga to come on my shit. Right. Niggas be hitting me up, asking me like how much it costs to come on. Like nigga, it's free. Like, like, but you they know want you to be like shit. Cause I mean, <laughs> but then if you was to get them a price though, they'd be like, oh no, I'm straight. Oh yeah, for sure. For like, sure. what you asking for? Mm -hmm. That's how people be about features all the time. Like, um, how much you charging for a feature or whatever like that? I get them a price and they'd be like, all right, bet. I get back and with then, you. Right. Or then <laughs> like some. If somebody would be like, it, it could be people that I, I mean, I never know. I never yeah. had no type of connection with them or whatever. And they'd be like, yeah, can you post this shit or whatever? And I'd be like, okay, yeah, it costs this much for me to do this. Like, for sure. bro, my whole brand is a business now. I can't just yeah. do shit for free all the time. Yeah, like, yeah. I'll never make any pros. Yeah. But I do stuff for people genuinely that I fuck with. Sure. And they'd be like, oh, no, I'd rather you just do it because you fuck with it. Honestly, yeah. I don't fuck with it. So yeah, I'm, yeah. if I'm posting <laughs> it and I'm asking you for some money, it's because... Yeah. I'm just for sure, yeah. It Hell is yeah. what it is. So. Hell yeah. So now we're always going on like, like with your career and stuff like that. Like, what's your definition of like success? Like without the glitz and glamour. Like, what what's success for you? Um. Wow, what's success for me? Mm -hmm. Um. 
I just feel like obviously being able to be in a position to just like take care of myself and my family without it like being no type of struggle at all. Like for sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. that's that's the main thing for me. Like it's a lot of people who want to do rap or music or whatever mm. to be famous. Like I rather have the money than the mm. fame. Like yeah, sure. I just want to be able to take care of my people and mm. be good. That's it. Um, and you know, like also having a message, like mm. I don't, I, I don't want to just rap just to rap, like just make a song. That's just like a catchy song, you yeah. know, for people to be on like, certain certain songs that i do like i'm telling a story like it's something that you can relate to about mm. you know like death or um you know like heartbreak or yeah. how you grew up like just shit like that and sure. i just feel like it's it's what the game is yeah. missing let, let me ask you this real quick because i just thought about this shit like you know what I'm saying with your, with your passion how how you you know what I'm saying you really strong about this shit? Is it because your brother used to rap and he 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 he's, he's deceased? Like, do you um, be like, like like I gotta get this shit because it's something he wants to do? Yeah, like it's it's like you doing it for both of y'all. Yeah, absolutely. It's like I feel like it's like ten times more like mm. pressure on me just because I feel like I started it now. Like I can't stop. Like I can't. No, yeah. I feel like I'll disappoint him. Like he, yeah. he'd be like, like nigga, you done already started doing <laughs> no, this, bro. Sure. Like, yeah, like yeah. keep going. Like, Hell yeah. and, and you actually good. Like you actually doing like when I, I'll be like watching my videos or I'll like watch a performance or something. I'll be like, bro, like I can't believe that I did that. Like yeah, yeah, I sure. said one day that I was going to rap. Yeah. And then I like I actually did it. Like yeah. I actually put out that a video. Shit, that, that's I actually the, that's the accomplishment right there. Right there. Exactly. You know what and I'm a lot of stuff that I be seeing myself do, I'm like, damn. Like if he was alive, like yeah. he would he would be doing this. Like sure. this is Hell stuff yeah. that he would be doing, yeah. or you know, like because I probably wouldn't even be doing it yeah, honestly. Right, like yeah. if he was still doing it, like I probably would have just stayed in my lane. Like I would probably just rap just because, yeah, yeah. but it wouldn't For have sure. been like my career. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the fact that you know, like everything happened the way it did. Yeah. It was like I feel like it was just destined for me yeah. to to like, I know do that, it that probably had great. like a little bit to do with your you know what I'm saying that you know fuck it I gotta get this shit you know what I'm saying he was doing this shit you know exactly. what I'm saying he was nice with it whatever let me go ahead and. You know what I'm saying? Get this shit. I'm going to punch right. nigga mouth to get this shit. For <laughs> real. Right, like, it's, on this it's, man. Now, it's now, deep. Now, another thing with you, though, you got a lot of shit. You got a lot of motherfucking hats. Like, you got a lot of shit going on. You, right. you model. You be doing, you know what I'm saying, entertainment. You motherfucking acting. You doing this. Do you be thinking, like, sometimes, like, all right, this music shit ain't working out, but I can go ahead and pop off in this, and then that can lead back to the music. Absolutely. Like, it's so many Detroit movies like we were talking about on Tubi and Amazon Prime. Right, they going crazy. Niggas getting smacked with the wrong hand going the other way and shit. <laughs> so yeah, so you can go ahead and buzz off that shit like, damn, who the fuck? Then you, oh, she do music? Oh, she right. like, you know what I'm saying? You never thought about like, let me go ahead and go hard on this acting shit. Just yeah, so I be trying, back. you know, it just be like, depending on the opportunity where the people like, yeah. I, I've tried to do a few different movies yeah, or yeah, yeah. Stuff like that, and it just didn't work out. Yeah, for sure. So, like, that'd be kind of discouraging sometimes. Like, I'd be yeah. like, all right, I tried this, mm. and it ain't working. And then yeah. I'd just be like, okay, well, let me just go back to what I know. Lately, yeah. I've been um, more so, instead of doing features, I've been songwriting for people. So, yeah, I've been yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, you feel me? I've been, I've been getting paid off of just writing songs yeah. instead of me even doing features, which is way more. For sure. And it feels a lot better too because it's like, damn, like I'm helping somebody yeah. else yeah, bring their vision to life. Yeah, like, for sure. Hell yeah. So, oh, yeah, you And then with the, with the little, what's that? You get so many clicks and likes and shares, you should start doing a little clips yourself. Like like my, my home guess. girl Mauricia Mauricia she be doing that shit like you know what I'm saying? You, your home girls, your home boys, whatever, y'all go in that bitch and just write a scene and just do that shit. Yeah. Post that bitch, tag whoever who who do music, Thomas uh Harris, all them niggas with McGraw Ave, things like that. And right. Shit. I'm gonna start doing some skits with people. Yeah, I actually yeah. I'm actually supposed to uh do something with side nigga Nicks. You know who side nigga Nicks is? Yeah, he ain't he won't do something with Keith, right? 
Uh, I don't know. I think so. Jeez. I don't know. Nigga, nigga like, he be, like, he always light got, skin like, nigga. Yeah, with some buffs yeah, yeah, yeah. and he always on the side. Yeah, like, for sure. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah that's no. my nigga, though. Yeah, like, yeah. You must say, like, you got, like, like, sometimes it's just gonna be like, shit, you just gotta be like, fuck it. I'm gonna, shit, do it this, go this Whatever route. it takes, man. Because yeah. it all, for sure, it'll all lead to the music. Like, if you did blow up from, from doing movies or mm-hmm. um, modeling or whatever, like, that can be the funding for your music, for sure. Hell yeah. like so. Hell yeah. It's for always sure. good to have them bags. Hell yeah, you gonna you gonna get this shit popping off, nigga. Niggas gonna hate us at this interview, like, oh, that motherfucker this because. Well, <laughs> <laughs> then this whole ass nigga interviewed her and shit. Dog, it's all good. Nah. I, I, I love the hate, man. Like I, I love that shit. It's all good. We be breaking the e block and shit. We got one gun. <laughs> Period. Hey, we on the east with hey, it. I think my wife got a gun. Now I be feel like a whole ass nigga now, dog. She strapped up. <laughs> I'm behind her, like shoot him. <laughs> But I'm behind him Like shoot him hey, I'm, I'm like damn I gotta get my gun license now Like I ain't into that shit But not that she got her shit I'll be feeling like duh. She coming in bitch Strapped up and shit I ain't borrow a little holster And shit like yeah, damn I gotta, you gotta get it together Yeah I gotta get my motherfucking shit man For real for real I'm sick y'all still got this calendar On December 2021 though. Like <laughs> hey, 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 Man we ain't, we ain't Y'all still in December yeah, right yeah. now Now uh one, one more thing Though um, You working on some like, A new project Or you just uh, uh, stuck on trying to make sure this D mix volume two get out there more. I'm doing both. Okay. Um, like I, I already have a whole another idea for the new project. Mm-hmm. Um, don't have a specific date or time frame when it's gonna drop, but I am working on tracks from it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm still trying to push. You know, D mix volume two. For sure. Um, doing the videos and stuff like that. Yeah, so, yeah. you know. It's it's just all about balancing the whole thing and yeah, yeah. still, like I said, dealing with real life shit. You yeah, know, yeah. niggas done had jobs, done got fired <laughs> on their day off. Yeah, like, ass, man, like yeah, yeah. so, yeah. It just but, it's just life, man. I'm just yeah. trying to figure it out. So you ready for the hey after today and shit? Like like once like like oh yeah, not just I, like the interview, I said, just like it's off just, the song. Like you ready for somebody to be hating and shit? Like, the, niggas gonna so hate. So the first, I mean, like I feel like in the first ten minutes of me. Posting the clip on Instagram, um, mm. somebody put a trash can on it, yeah. and I liked it, and I laughed and yeah. put some kissy faces. So yeah, like, yeah, eh, yeah. yeah. now you, know, you gonna like, try to like shoot it out to um, what Detroit rap news and what's the one nigga name? Vila keep. Uh yeah, I'm I'm yeah, I'll tag got, everybody. That that nigga, he got mad at me and shit. That nigga was like, nigga, you tag me too much, cuz you want your Damn, shit. Damn, <laughs> right, that's bro, like, crazy. Nigga, but that's nah, all I'm yeah. tagging nobody no more. Shit. Like. <laughs> Yeah, I you know I tag my post some. Cause um, you already know I'm I, I, I'm a tag some. <laughs> do you know who Do you know uh who CMC Culture is? CMC Culture, I don't think or so. Or you heard of it? Um, I'm gonna post a clip that they uh did, but they just did like a whole little video mm-hmm. about me on YouTube. Yeah, um, oh, that's dope. Hell yeah. Just like showing love and yeah. you know like just. I guess you know like giving me awareness and asking people like am I dope or nope yeah. or whatever shit like that so yeah. and it was it was sweet I yeah. appreciate them for doing hell it yeah, hell yeah but yeah no, the, the whole uh, that diss and stuff like that be that I, I'll be happy if a girl come out like on behalf of them and come back at you just to go do some back and forth and shit you know what I'm saying yeah. that'd be dope like that's the whole you know what I'm saying the whole rap shit that's what you know what I'm saying make a dope MC like can they come back and you know what I'm saying make a part two but I mean we need to like make sure they get in recorded while writing they shit yeah. because oh you get tomorrow some somebody else gonna write that shit for them yeah like I'm sure one of those guys <laughs> yeah. who got mentioned will probably write the yeah. write the verse for whoever the female is that's coming hell no because they don't write that shit for real <laughs> hell you no. can tell bro like you can tell when when some girls write they stuff because of their delivery for like sure. yeah, yeah. when you just rapping it like a robot bro like <laughs> come on hell or yeah. even what you saying like yeah. That's that something that, that, that nigga wrote your that shit, Yeah, bro. hell yeah. That's how it is, though. Now, uh, I saw, was you co-hosting the, um, that shit with, uh, the with Bay Boys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's some shit you 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 ever thought about, like, getting to some, some radio yeah, podcasts and shit? Yeah, it was cool. Shit? Like, it was, it was fun doing that. Yeah. Um, You know, like, shout out to Miss Craze. She had just, like, hit me up and asked me, you know, like, what I want to do it. Um, You know, just to see how I get a feel for it or whatever like yeah. that. And I like I like doing yeah. it. Like, now, I just like, I like talking shit. And I actually had to, you know, like... Yeah. Come up switch with some, yeah. switch roles and yeah. actually become a journalist and a researcher and was look that shit into hard? stuff like that. Not for real. Yeah. Because you, it's just like you mean you just go was you nervous? through social media. No. Yeah. I wasn't. So you, I think I I mean with those radio platforms, I already know how it is. Like I know the one radio platform I was on, like when they interviewed me, it's like it was no way to get a hold to your stuff. 
So I didn't understand. Oh. Like, it was like two different platforms we was on. He was on there with me and stuff like, all right, how do I listen to it now? Like, without being live. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's the only thing Because I like, see that some people be like putting their stuff like on Spotify yeah. or on YouTube or stuff like that. But, yeah. And that, and that's the only gotta, thing I like about those little, you know, small little radio broadcasts and shit because it's like after you do an interview, like, all right, I said some good shit, but <laughs> where the fuck I'm going to find it? Right. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah but, been now sent you a clip or some shit. Yeah, but if you drop the podcast and shit, man, you know what I'm saying? Let me know. I produce it and shit, though. I'm trying to do man. my young money spin off. Shit, like you know, what I'm saying. All right, okay, be, yeah. He could be, <laughs> he can be baby. I could be Wayne and shit, though. All I right, just gotta, period. I gotta I'm learn Nikki. how to work this shit. Whatever, you know what I'm saying. So shit, what's some, what's some shit you want? You know what I'm saying. You got anything else you want to get off your chest about this expose song? Anybody uh, else should be. On man, the... y'all just tap in to expose. You feel me? Um, the video coming out soon. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna be all platforms soon. For sure. If you want to get on the remix, you feel me, yeah. or part two, tap in with me, cause <laughs> if you got something on, yeah. you want to get off your chest. Any female, any guy, whatever, I'm like y'all want to expose. I'm be dissing other podcasts and shit. Period. Like this, like. Tap in, like I'm fuck y'all niggas. <laughs> and it's not like I just feel like it's not it's not a diss. It's just mm. me, like I said, just expressing my experiences. Um that same day like you know that same night that i had actually made that post saying all of that stuff mm. what had initially made me do that i had seen a post that had said like gt had just signed some artists from arkansas or whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. so like you know feel me i had like went and looked at the artists yeah. and you know like did a yeah. little research and stuff like that and then i had comment on the post and i was just like it just be kind of weird that like it's people that's like in their backyard that they could sure, yeah, you feel yeah. me like tap in with and they go and get like people from out of town that yeah. ain't really you feel me doing that yeah, yeah, yeah. and um i guess he kind of like took it to heart so he was like dming me like i was i was like talking to him like yeah. the whole next morning because he was like damn like at first he was just like commenting on it like fuck y'all opinions down me yeah. shit whoop -de -whoop all that. and i'm like you know like that's cool like everybody got their own opinion on how For they sure. feel about stuff but what i was saying and it wasn't even just directed to him it yeah. was to everybody that's here where i feel like y'all have the platform the voice the popularity the money whatever yeah. and y'all just rather put it into like i don't know like yeah. the, <laughs> the niggas who can't rap or yeah. nobody nobody just want to tap in with none of the females that can actually rap yeah for sure hell yeah but they want to you know yeah, with, with endorse the, or support the ones with who the Brazilian butt lips and shit <laughs> <laughs> that's how it is though that's fucked know. up yeah, but yeah that's shit you know? This this the motherfucking industry we in. Exactly. That, it's about popularity and and who's who and who know who and who fuck who and. And I did not like. I mean, obviously, you know, when I first started, I didn't yeah. think that it was like that. I had oh. this whole just. I was still like I said. I was still back in the day with thinking this how it was yeah, it's like different. Yeah, like yeah. even even just recently, like what with meg like how she got put on you know like with those guys that yeah, sure. that was yeah, there yeah. uh the crawford dude and yeah. t ferris and stuff like that like they was just some niggas in the city who got yeah. money yeah. and they was like boom like yeah, i feel you like on. you got this yeah. let's go get it like why yeah. why can't people shit, be like that shit, that you seen hard. what he did Hell what yeah. she did for them Hell yeah that shit hard man I don't that shit hard as fuck. Like to find niggas you even trust to even be able to, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. That's the hard part. Like I wish I wish me and Sugar had some motherfucking <laughs> some right. on this bitch, dog. I but, swear. Yeah, but that shit, man. You, you gonna get that shit right? We gonna be in this bitch. I'm be like, yeah, she was on my show first. You know what I'm saying? Right. She made that shit I happen. I told you, I'm gonna, when I get the bag, I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come put it down with y'all for sure. We Hell gonna, yeah, we you gonna got break to. bread. You got to because she be like, damn, nigga, she, she said, fuck me, huh? I ain't, <laughs> I ain't big enough for her and shit, dog. <laughs> Hell she, no. you, you want to leave people? How, how your love like going? Right? You, you you in love or you uh, out of love? You in love? <laughs> <laughs> I am chilling, bro. What's like I'm just up? chilling. I'm just yeah. vibing. Yeah, you yeah, you're just taking it day by day, huh? Yeah, <laughs> not too major. I'm Hell just, no, I'm just up, living man. life. Hell yeah, man. I be knowing people be, they be like, ah, oh, they be want to take you out and shit. You gotta go <laughs> take the offers up and shit. I ain't gonna point no one. Uh, no, <laughs> but shit. I'm glad you came on this motherfucker. You want to express yourself and shit. If it's, Thank if, you for having me. I appreciate y'all. Y'all always come through, you know. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I uh, appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying? Of course, tell people where they can find you at. Uh, y'all can follow me at Detroit Diamond underscore before and after on everything. Mm. Um, Instagram, Twitter, mm. Snapchat, TikTok, all that. 
yeah. you know, I still be doing doing yeah. my shit on TikTok. <laughs> Where can hear the uh, motherfucking Exposed song get? Uh, Exposed is on YouTube. The link is in my bio. Okay. Um, it'll be on all platforms. The shit probably in the next week or so. Yeah. And um, you know, still go stream D Mix Volume Two, Year the Diamonds. Go watch all my videos, everything. Detroit sure. Diamond on everything. For sure, man. Like I said, hey man, don't. Hey, y'all better come correct, dog. Cause she, she come, shout out to the shot versus everybody yeah, podcast. It, you know what I'm saying? She come back with the with the part two like Drake and shit. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> with the back to back. But look, bitch. that's only if somebody like, responds. Like it didn't, if it don't, you feel me? If they ain't got nothing. It was way heavy on her conscience. She leaving no option and shit. <laughs> if you ain't Damn. got nothing to say, then we just go leave it how it is. Hell but yeah. so yeah, all you motherfuckers on the song, don't get mad. I guess get mad. I don't know shit. What you should do? Shit, I can't tell you. Do your thing, man. You want to leave people with some uh, some motivational words, some kind words, some encouraging words. Um, shit, I ain't got shit for y'all for real. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, Hell cause no. I need some damn motivational words for myself. Hell no. But um, I don't know. I just yeah. feel like all I can say is just just keep going. Like, yeah. especially for all the women, like don't don't let these niggas like hold you up. For sure. Don't let them hold you. Don't yeah. you feel me? Just just keep doing your thing. Yeah. Um, we know the. How the industry is sure, and yeah, yeah, yeah. how it's set up, how it's designed. But, you know, if you know you that one, just keep going. Yeah. For me, man, like I said, man, if, hey, if you want to hit on a chick, man, because she look good, work with her first, then see if it can lead to that. But don't come out showing your peace, man. Exactly. Like, like, you ain't going to put <laughs> some bread into yeah, it at don't first. Don't straight like, out there or, 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 off the rip shooting your peace out there. Like, DM me saying, like, screenshot that you just bought my project. Yeah. Then, then all right, we can you feel me? We can keep going. Oh, no, 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 then don't show the peace. Like, then like, yeah, we can have a project. conversation. You feel me? Peace. Like I fuck with the project. All right, boom, whoop de whoop. Like, what's your name? Let me no, like now nah, niggas don't even if you got money. Niggas don't know how a lot to court. Of, ain't that the word bro, court woman? A lot of whatever, the niggas dog. that be DMing me, they be having money. Like yeah. it be it be them niggas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they don't know how to have a conversation because they just Man, think everything just lead with yeah, the money. Yeah, but sure. at the same time, they don't never want to spend the money though. Yeah, like yeah. y'all be weird. Yeah, don't yeah. don't That's don't hit me up I'm like oh I'm no, oh no shit. Bro. I'm broke. Though. I don't want to spend money on y'all motherfuckers, man. Man. Keep my shit to myself. <laughs> niggas is weird. They'd be like, "Yeah, I'm about to go out of town. I'm about to go do. This. I'm finna hit the mall, whatever. Yeah. Whoopty whoop." And then you be like, "Oh, let's go get something to eat." And yeah. they'd be like. Oh shit! I just already <laughs> did that. You feel me? Like shit, I'm, I'm good. Like, huh? <laughs> I'm full. Okay, right, so hey. what are we talking about? Man, fuck as hell, man. Yeah, fellas, man. Hey, hey, you gotta come with a better approach, dog. If you if you shit. don't want to really work, just don't work. That's you know what I'm simple. If you want to try to get on, just try to get on. Shit, she gonna say yes or no. Exactly. That's it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, till next time, man. Best podcast in the motherfucking city. Period. Voice of the city. If you ain't fucking with my podcast, shit, you fucking up, man. Or you gonna get exposed, then. <laughs> Yeah. You got Detroit Diamond, You got to drop that shit at the end. Yeah. Hey. Hey, <laughs> Shout out to everybody, man. Holla at y'all boys. Hey. We finna fuck the city up with this one. Hey, let's go. Since I ain't got 20K, oh, I ain't giving head. Can't seem to get no shine. I think these niggas scared. They claim to have these ops, but niggas really feds. A ham sandwich nigga ain't got no fucking bread. I put the D in diamond, the hottest thing popping. My city never win, cause all these niggas dick riding. They turn the trappers into rappers, but that shit sloppy. The only bars these niggas got came from a bitch pocket. A few be legendary, some niggas jealous of. Since 2018, I've been trying to fuck with hella bro. He said his manager big said was gonna hit me up It's 22, I guess my ass wasn't big enough Let's show him how we coming, a verse that's medical Like summer 90 went best, pick that herbo flow Or when the 90, when the cyphers was the biggest show You 35, I'm 25, but I got bigger goals Hit Dougie for a feature, he told me 60 bands I'm independent, nigga, lil' baby, get your mans Or grab a pacifier, his little baby pants His ass be sitting up, I see what Jazz was saying Shout out to Dr. D, he really showed me love Ain't have to fuck him just to get my song up in the clubs Tapped in with T, uh, ain't fuck with me, uh Tapped in with real ones, don't snap gon' kill some Niggas be watching, but they really wanna drill some I got a leader, get a team since y'all won't build one I heard some niggas' feelings, cause I be speaking facts These niggas y'all be signing, I swear they fucking whack I'm Detroit Diamond, put the city on my fucking back Ten bands for a show, when y'all niggas hit his track, nigga